This lesson will demonstrate how to solve polynomial equations. And in the first example, we're trying to solve the equation x cubed minus 16x equals 0. And this equation can be factored. There, notice that there is a common x in the x cubed and the minus 16x as well. So if we factor an x out, we'll have uh, x and then x squared minus 16 is the other factor. So we can see that the x squared minus 16 will factor it into uh, x plus 4 and x minus 4. That's the difference of two perfect squares. And now we have three different linear factors, so we can set each of these to 0. If we set x equal to 0, we'll get just 0 for a solution. If we set x plus 4 to 0, we'll get negative 4 because the uh, negative 4 plus 4 makes that factor 0. And a third factor, remember these three factors all multiply to give you 0, so either this one has a value of 0 or this has a value of 0 or lastly the x minus 4 is a value of 0 and the value that makes that 0 would be 4 because 4 take away 4 makes a value of 0. So the solutions are x is either 0 or plus or minus 4. In the example on the bottom part of the page, we have a uh, polynomial equation, uh, a sixth order polynomial equation to solve. And this is uh, one that can be solved by grouping. Uh, we could use synthetic division, like the examples on the next few pages, but uh, we can actually accomplish uh, solving this by doing some factoring by grouping. And notice that there's a common factor of x to the fourth in the first two terms and there's a common factor of 16 in the last two terms. Now if we factor an x to the fourth out of x to the sixth, we get x squared. Remember, subtract the exponents. If we factor an x to the fourth out of minus 25x to the fourth, we get minus 25. Factoring a 16 out of the last two terms, 16 out of 16x squared leaves just an x squared in the parentheses, and negative 400 divided by 16 is negative 25. Notice what's in the two sets of brackets are the same binomial. And so we can factor an x squared minus 25 out of this. And so our two factors are x to the fourth plus 16 and x squared minus 25. Now setting each of these equal to 0, because this multiplied by this equals 0, we have either x to the fourth plus 16 equals 0 or x squared minus 25 equals 0. Now in this equation, there is no solution because the fact that uh, if we try to solve for x, we could actually rearrange and write x to the fourth equals negative 16. And that looks like this. x to the fourth equals negative 16. And then we would be trying to solve by taking the fourth root of negative 16, which of course is not a real number. We're going to restrict this uh, lesson to just solving over the real numbers. So there's no so real solution for this first factor. If you want to get into the uh, imaginary numbers, you could write that as an imaginary number. Uh, x squared minus 25 will factor. Uh, that factors into uh, x plus 5 and x minus 5, similar to factoring x squared minus 16 into x plus 4 and x minus 4 on the top part of the page. And so there's the factoring. So we set each of these factors to 0 because uh, x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 5 equals 0. So either this is a value of 0 or the x plus 5 does. And so if we set x minus 5 to 0, we get positive 5. And x plus 5 to 0, we get negative 5. Negative 5 plus 5 gives a value of 0. So x is equal to plus or minus 5. 